and it's soaking wet. All the crispy batter is just coming off. You know, it's not everybody's cup of tea. It's not mine. Yeah, it certainly it's not mine either. Uh, but, however, I'm optimistic. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, look at that there. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm done on that one. Yeah, I'll get rid of yeah. that. I don't understand it. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Soggy, chewy, disgusting calamari. Shocking. What do you say about it? You spit the calamari back out. <laughs> <laughs> That's hysterical. What was he bitching about? Spit it out. I'm going to, like, go at his throat today. And this is a party in your mouth? <laughs> this is the part in my mouth. Should be. Top plate, very hot. It looks dreadful. I think I've just thrown up in my mouth. <laughs> what a mess. Oh, boy. I'm taking it that was one party you didn't want to attend. It wasn't a party in my mouth. It was like a funeral in my mouth. A funeral? <laughs> yeah. Well, it kind of does look like something died. <laughs> What's the matter with that? That's gross. What? We're not doing too good here. I was ready to, like, choke him. Maybe this is the one thing I like. He doesn't like anything. Maybe this will be the one. What, the meatloaf? Well, maybe this will be it. Well, that's the meatloaf. Okay. And this is the um, award-winning. The award-winning meatloaf. Yeah, I'm excited. Thank you. You're welcome. It doesn't move on there, does it? Ooh. <laughs> Hot. I'm sorry. It's sort of lukewarm, solidified chunks of crap. That's pretty much the norm. <laughs> it must be freaking embarrassing if you just serve this. It is embarrassing. I don't like the meatloaf here at all. We set ourselves up for disappointment when we put award winning in front of it. What was the problem with meatloaf? It's disgusting. Can you be more specific? I didn't hear. I didn't hear what he said. I'm gonna have to ask him. Abby and Chef Ramsay are gonna go to blows. Can I have a word with the team? It's, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. So, the food was shocking. Below par, disgusting, dated shit. So, who is the head chef here? We don't really have one, but I guess... What do you mean you don't have a head I, chef? But I guess I'm the closest thing. Closest? What does that mean? Talk to me, Abby. That means that I fired my other chef and he took over and I didn't want to give him a title until he proved to himself that he could handle the kitchen. Abby. What you're employing is a ship with no captain at the helm and the team desperate for guidance. No guidance is no standards. No standards is no consistency. So who came up with a menu? If this is American comfort food, somebody's dreaming here. I did. Yeah, so I did. I take full responsibility for the menu. You have no cooking background, but you put the menu together. Abby, you've got to understand how frustrating this is. It's ridiculous. I don't know what to say. Fix it. You fix it. That's why you're Oh, come on, Abby. How can I fix it when you stand there in front of your team rating you and your restaurant and your food 10 out of 10 dreamer? I don't I don't think it's as I bad can... as you say it, I it is. Stop being in denial. Can you be more specific about the meatloaf? What did you not like about the meatloaf? Oh, shit. Can you say something besides... Just loopy. I've been called worse than that. Wake up and admit it's shit. Bring it on. Oh, come bring on. Bring it on. What do you mean, bring it on? To have Chef Ramsay say, everything you've done, everything that you've dreamed of doing is shit. I was blown away. I need some fresh air. Did you just, did you, did you just pull that out of the fridge? Yes, Chef. What is that? It's chicken. And why are you cooking them in advance? Because of space. It's space and time. Just touch that. It's hard as a rock. It's fucked. How many portions you got in there cooked ahead? Of? Show me the tray, PJ, please. That's drier than the Nevada desert. These look like they were cooked yesterday. I mean, they're fucking solid. Huh? I mean... I mean, I wouldn't even hang that on a Christmas tree. That chicken that's already cooked, it's gonna get cooked again. Who the fuck would want to eat this? And he's absolutely right. Lisa, Keith. So, I'm trying to go up to speed with the chefs. Just feel that there. Solid chicken. That's like for the chicken parm. They don't make it to order. Why not? Well, we've always done it that way. We really didn't know it's a problem. That's just... That's insane. This sucks. 
despite a fast start. How's your meal? We haven't had any yet. We're waiting and it's very long. The disorganized kitchen is now delivering food at a snail's pace. I'm waiting on a cheese ravioli. It's, it's getting hot, just give it a second. Bro, come on, dude. Be right there, bro. I'm waiting on 13 and 11. I've never seen such a dysfunctional kitchen in all my fucking life. Chris squashed down the corner. The chicken reheated. All these plates have got chips on them. What's all those tickets on the floor? It's just madness, I mean, absolute madness. Where's Lisa? Where's Keith? Is he, like, fucking serious? People haven't gotten their meals in over 45 minutes. The kitchen is just a whole mess. And my mother and Keith were nowhere to be found. Is mommy and Keith somewhere? They, they sit in the car for no reason. Keith and my mother are sitting out in the driveway on a crazy, crazy night. I'm starving. We can't handle this. We need help. Well, you know what? Maybe they should come and worry about the problems that are really happening right now. Yeah, like how... Um, that the kitchen's a disaster. Chicken palm, pick it up. My mother ordered this, or is she she's going to sit in the car and eat it? Is this normal when we get busy? I'm embarrassed now. Why was this ordered under your name? Oh, it's mine. You're going to eat it out here? What am I eating with my my no. fingers? Here, that's what they that's what I, you want. We're, we're, give, me Arlo, a give me some fork. Stuffed pork chop, primavera white with penne. While the two owners dine in the car. Where's my bus girl? I got a far foul. Here's your chicken and sausage. I have 21 and 22. Michael does his best to rally the staff and complete dinner service. Yeah, spaghetti and meatball. Let's get out of here, boys. Okay. I'm gonna get straight to the point. You two, you've been abusing your restaurants. Van gets angry. Michael gets frustrated. Ricky gets upset. The owners, I didn't see you get upset. I saw you walk outside with a coat and you were sat in the car. It's a joke! Keith, help me! I, uh, my passion is a little, uh, uh you know, down. But if you got behind this bar and you got on the floor and you did something to show you care, people see that. Customers aren't gonna care about your business if you don't give a fuck about it. And the two of you said it on a million occasions, walking the place, I don't even give a fuck about this place anymore. I hope it fucking burns. Well, you know what? That's what it's doing, burning right to the fucking ground. It's soggy and it's nasty. It doesn't mean that it's really bad because he's never seen something like this before. I want you dressed in the salad, in a bowl. Okay. Okay. Even though he was just planning on observing, Chef Ramsay can't control himself and institutes his first change. We've got fresh salad dressed to order and in a bowl. Well done. Yeah. Excellent. But Dr. Morris, make sure it is warm, is still the woman in charge. Can you give a better piece of chicken? I don't like it. Micromanaging whenever and wherever possible. Is that warm? It tastes like popcorn. This is no. not Jamaican. There's no taste. Can I have another piece of chicken? I don't like this. You don't anymore. like this? OK. They didn't oh, like this. Here, no, we said uh, two old people right here. If they're not Jamaican, they're not going to like it. Dr. Morris doesn't really like to hear a lot of complaints about the food. She does what she knows and wants to do. What is that there? Chicken breast. Daniel. Yes. When was that cooked? Yeah. That was cooked yesterday. Jesus Christ. Doctor. Yes. I can't believe we're doing this. That was cooked last night. It looks like a giraffe's tongue. OK. It makes me feel validated, I guess, that the points that I've been making for months are the points that he's making now. Do you have a dog at home? Don't feed them that. Keone, just come over here. OK. No. Keone, he's really getting me very upset. Suppose I punch him out. Because let me finish. He's right around. Let me finish, Keone. All he did, mom. Keone, you please know. be quiet. First of all, he wants us to cook everything fresh. Why can't you do that? You can't. Yes, you can. Jamaican food cannot be cooked fresh every day. Do you understand that? Mom, we'll finish this later. <sighs> what is that there? Oh, my God, you are kidding me. Bags everywhere. Christ almighty. Oh, please. What's that in the microwave? 
price. When was that the cost? Four days ago. When I first worked here, I was like, oh no. Really? Bags? Come on. What's the addiction to bags? Is it a medical thing, like donating blood in bags? Or, uh, everything we've got is, like, in bags. Where do you want to put it, then? If you're now going to tell me that rice stays better in a bag inside the steamer, madam, I'm really sorry, but you've lost the plot. I don't like when you disrespect me. So if you can tell me where you think I've disrespected you... You told me that I was crazy upstairs. I'm, I'll tell you why. The practices and how you're running a restaurant is packed with stupidity. I didn't say that you are demented. Didn't say anything like that at all. No. You, you specifically okay. say like this. You're... That's what you okay. say to me. Right. Did you now, hear what I said? It's... Let me finish. If I say that to you, how yes. would you feel? I'm not a delicate, dainty flower. It's going to take everything you say personally. But let me tell you something. The practices are ludicrous. Can I just show you something? Ready? No answer. Just, just feel that. It's frozen. It couldn't be fr well. Okay. Okay. It should I'm not. Argue. It, should, it should not be frozen. Okay. Well, it is frozen. No, no, no. No, don't tell me. Okay. No, okay. Let me, let me, Another show. No, me, I've got to finish me. my sentence. Frozen, solid, disgusting, overcooked chicken. You're resisting it. That's fine. No, no, no. I'm trying to say it should not be frozen. They did it right. yesterday. I understand. Okay. But I've just told you it is. Right now, you're running a hospital kitchen full of bags. Fuck that. I'm out of here. He may say I'm crazy, but certain things he says about Jamaican food, I disagree with him. So I'm not crazy. I think the doctor needs a doctor. We are talked down to like we're dirt, and it's not right. Listen, um, I really appreciate the openness and the honesty. I knew it was bad, but I didn't quite understand it. It hit that um, level of hurt. I think it's just sad that we're all sitting here and that we actually have to even be at this point. I think we all, the whole group of us here, are pretty much struggling. No one's getting that message across. I need to get through to them. Daryl and Ellen are about to arrive. I want you to tell them. Everybody was saying what they wanted to say and getting it off their chest, but it's kind of different from telling Chef Ramsay versus telling Daryl. Don't be nervous. I don't want you to be afraid. I've got your back. OK? And here they are. Good morning. Good morning. I've been here having a staff meeting. Um, we've gone through some issues um, this morning that's been bothering them. But rather than me trying to tell you how they feel, I think they should speak. Certainly. Who's going to go first? I go first. I don't feel as though we all gain much respect around here. And I don't think that you, as our owner, have our back. Candace, Ashley, is that how you feel? You really do talk to us like dirt sometimes. My intent is not to talk down to somebody. But that's how it comes out. Jason, talk to Daryl, please. My biggest problem that I have is just, I don't think you have a clue as to how this place runs. Me? Yeah. Wow. I think that you're so stuck on the numbers, the actual essence of having a restaurant and serving good food and giving customer service and happy employees, that, that's gone. I, I don't understand. We hear it every single night, every single day, from our customers what needs to be changed and why they don't come back. We let you know these things, and you don't give a shit. Nothing is done. You don't care. Wow. Hey, this is ridiculous here. I really don't want to break down, because I've been here a long time. And I'm not getting paid jack shit. Somebody be here that long. I've been here since 2006. Why haven't I never got a pay raise? OK, let me say something real quick. Since we're all telling the truth, first of all, Daryl and I have taken thousands and thousands of dollars out of our personal account 
to pay your paychecks. So why not just close the place down? We're not giving up. We don't want to give up. If you want to give up, that's fine. This isn't I'm your business. We don't want to leave each other because we all love each other. We don't want to leave. Not at all. But I need to make money to support my family. You know what? So do we. Y'all acting like it's us against y'all, and it's not. This is a business where you have costs and expenses. I ask you to take that pay cut. It's either that or labor costs get so high, I'm out. But you can go on five vacations in the summer. And you're struggling for money. Right. That is fucked up. Period. If you don't want to be here, don't be here.